Okay, I, yeah, okay, I, yeah, okay, I, okay, I, okay, I Hey guys, it's me Hyper, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do really um, good velocity on DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so um, I already have my song and clip um, already in, so you already know, it's just the basic stuff, just drag in your clip and drag in your song. Let me also just make this smaller, so I want you to just drag in your clip and song. Uh, you want to sync it, right? So I'm gonna just sync it. So what you want to do? Hold up, sorry. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to kind of drag your song um, away from your clips, so you can just. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So like right there, it's gonna be trapped, right? So you just wanna go exactly to that frame by using your arrow keys. So once you're there, you wanna mark it right where that beat drop is. So now it's marked. You just wanna drag your song near your clip again. Now you wanna go to your clip. And then now you're gonna see where, where, where the guy killed him. So, by the way, these are not my clips. So you wanna look right here. And then right when the number pop up, so right that's kind of hard to see i think yeah yeah numbers pop up right there so you want to mark right there where the numbers pop up and then you want to also do that so now it's okay 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 see so now it's like so right whenever the pop up is so now it's all sync. And also, this is all. I'm gonna make my. I'm gonna grab my shotgun. So this is optional. I'm gonna just grab my shotgun because I just like it whenever there's not unnecessary sounds. So like that. I just like to explain it. So. It's just like so, and I'm also going to trim my clip. Oops. So, I'm also going to trim my clip. Okay. Oh, my God. Sorry. Okay. So, right, right here. Oops. So, right, right here. So, I'm going to trim it. Just trim the song and everything. And I'm going to just delete it. Um, and then also just bring this whole life forward to the beginning. So now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So like right there. And then you can also trim it again at the end of the clip. So now it should also look better. So now we have that so far. So now you want to add the velocity. So to add the velocity. You want to go to your frame of the clip like that, and make sure you're only selected on the on the um the the, the video the clip. Make sure you're not selected on any of the music, and then click Control R. So once you click Control R, you should have this thing all set up, and um you want to make sure you're on the frame of whenever you shoot the shotgun. So make sure you're there. So right when the numbers pop up. And then now you want to click here and click add speed point. And then now what you want to do is you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add speed point. And you want to do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once you do that, you want to go back to the middle frame. And then now you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But this time in the right. To the right, and then I would go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and add a speed point. So now, like, little f like four sections. See, like one, two, three, four sections. And now you want to change the speed of the four sections. So you want to click on this speed point, and then click change speed. Make the first one fifty. Make the second one four hundred. Make the third one. 200 and then make the last one 50 so now you have that and make sure your um 
uh, what's it called? Your keyframe might get ruined, so make sure it's still on the frame. So drag your keyframe back to where the shotgun shoes, because I don't know why it has a glitch where it does that. So make sure it's still dragged. So it's back to being synced. And then also drag your shotgun noise back. So yeah, now we have all that. Now you want to zoom back in. And by the way, guys, this might be laggy. Um, it might be laggy because we just changed all the speeds. So if it starts getting laggy, you should go to playback and then go to what's called timeline proxy mode and make it quarter resolution. It will make the quality bad, but whenever you um, what's it called export it, uh, the quality would just be perfectly fine. So you should watch. Okay, it. I, yeah. Okay, I, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I walk there looking like a old. Sorry, I can't see. It kind of like it slows. Okay, it like slows down and it goes straight into the shot. See, it slows down. I walk there looking like a old. It just looks kind of Yeah, so watch a couple times to make sure So now it looks pretty good. This is optional, but I'm also going to just trim my clip again. I feel like it's a little too long at the end. So I'm going to just trim it. At the end, the little so, Sorry, there. So now we have that. So, and now you want to add a blur effect. And also, I'm going to also kind of adjust the music a little bit because I think it's kind of off. A little off. So, I'm also kind of going to trim that. I think it sounds a little off. Wait. Okay, I won't be looking like a it's a bit better. Okay, okay, so now it's a little fixed. So you have your old clip. And then now in order to add the better okay, effect, you're gonna go here. Um I'm already here, but what you do is you go to effects library over here. So you'll so it'll look like this for you. So you click effects library so this pop pops up. Then you wanna go to toolbox, make sure you're here, click on effects, and then the first part it'll say adjustment clip. So you wanna go to adjustment clip. Slide that there and trim it. So once you trim it, you'll have a clip. So you just have your adjustment clip. So right when the numbers pop up, at the end of the clip. Now to add the thing, you want to click it, click uh, right click it, and then go to. I mean, yeah, click it and then go to Fusion Page. So let it load a little bit. Now once you're in Fusion Page, you want to go to. Uh, it was called your files wherever your files are and you want to go and go to your um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this editing pack in the description so you guys can use it yourself but it's a really good editing pack for DaVinci Resolve it just comes with shakes and transitions and stuff so it's by chop yeah so you go to shakes and I think for this one I'm gonna use a strong impact sh shake so add in the strong impact shake and then once you have it in, make grab the yellow, make sure it's on this part. So the whole line will become yellow. So right here, see it's white, and then whenever it's yellow, you know you did it right, let go. It's attached. Now do it to the other side and make sure you grab it on the yellow arrow, not this arrow. Grab it on the yellow arrow and then let go. So now it should look like this. And then once you do that, and by the way guys, just always click control save in between stuff. So, what's it called? You don't lose your progress. So, I just click Control save Control s And, yeah, just let that load. Okay, there. So, it's all loaded out. And, I'm going to go back to edit. So, once you're in edit, I'm going to watch through the clip. And, I probably won't let you watch it because you, the effect's kind of large. So, it might be kind of laggy. So, yeah. And make sure you're here. And I go... Yeah, sorry, you, you just can't watch the clip It because my PC is not that high end. So you just can't really watch the clip. So you just kind of have to trust the process because the blur is going to be kind of, it's going to be, it's just going to be good every time because it already has all the sets for you. So once you do that, you already know, you just deliver it. Make sure all this thing's good, you know, Ultra HD and 60. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and peace.